Welcome to episode 21, George A. Paolo Lamont, 10 Lessons. This is an outline of episode 21. Lesson number one, purpose of life, big action, big contribution. Acho que, in the first place, you have to be constructing something. You have to be doing something that will contribute to the para a sociedade. Uma característica nossa é que nós nunca estamos satisfeitos. Nós estamos sempre querendo chegar em algum lugar, melhorar. E é sempre... Lesson number two. Life is like tennis. You lose a lot. After each loss, analyze and improve. Todo essa, esse fato que eu jogava tênis me preparou para perder. E cada vez que eu perdia, eu tentava analisar o que, que tinha acontecido, por que, que não tinha dado certo. Como é que eu posso melhorar na próxima vez, né? E eu tinha uma boa noção que o, o esforço, sem, sem esforço você não tem resultado, né? Então o tênis foi muito... Lesson number three. Countries need entrepreneurs to change and prosper. Uh, and I don't think you can build a, a country without entrepreneurs either. You know, that's what changed China when, when they unleashed entrepreneurs. So you have to have entrepreneurs, you have to have people chasing things and building things. Lesson number four, after each setback, start all over again. Lesson number five, think big, think global. E esse por lidar no mercado internacional e assim, já pensava maior, era o pai da minha mãe, né? E então minha, minha mãe era filha de um comerciante de cacau, na Bahia, mas que teve a oportunidade de estudar lá fora, de, 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 de ser mais ambiciosa em termos grandes. Pô, de repente, me vi lá em Harvard, que eu não, não era nada confortável para mim, mas... E ela que insistiu que eu ficasse lá, que eu terminasse, e que, e que me abriu meus olhos para um mundo maior. E, assim. e minha mãe, que era muito ambiciosa, que sempre me incentivava a fazer coisas maiores. Lesson number six, hire best people, hire different types of people. A empresa faliu porque uh, não tinha nenhuma administração, todos os sócios eram parecidos, todo mundo queria vender muito, que aprendi bastante, aprendi que em sociedades e quando você contrata gente, você não deve só ter pessoas parecidas com você, Você tem que ter outros, outros tipos de pessoa. Lesson number seven. If you miss A, B just arrives. Be prepared. In 76, uh, the, there were these government bonds, and we used to carry big positions of these, these bonds. And the finance minister was Mario Henrique Simonson, a famous economist in Brazil. And at one moment, he decided that Inflation, inflation had to be stopped, and one way to reduce inflation was to reduce the yield of these bonds, because they yielded inflation plus interest. And so he simply clipped off 4% from the monetary correction, and, and, uh, and he said, well, you know, he lost $800,000, and uh, that's you know, you can, you can live that. And I said, not $8,000, $8 million, which, which for us was a big amount of money. And he said, $8 million, my God, I didn't realize it was that much. And, but I did give you an investment bank charter, so get out of the office, go to work, and, <laughs> and that was it, so. Listen, number eight, luck comes after a lot of sweat and focus. The, the, the phrase I like best in relation to luck is, is what Ray Kroc, the founder of McDonald's, used to say. Luck is always the result of a lot of sweat. Yeah. Uh, if you sweat a lot, you work, you try hard, and you're focused, uh, you know, it comes by at some, yeah. some moment, but it doesn't come by if you're not, if you're not there in the spot, if you're not working hard and sweating. Lesson number nine, learn from genius and mentors. And we became came close to Sam Walton, and Sam was a, you know, a terrific mentor and very friendly guy, and we used to go to Bentonville and live with him, and, 
and used to run, tour the shops. So, you know, we, we learned about running a, big, a bigger business and, uh, and uh, yeah, and attracting the right kind of people for that business also and talking to him and like all brilliant people, you know, and genius, as I would say, he was very simple thinking. I mean, Lesson number 10, there is no overnight success. It took him more than 10 years to learn how to build a winning team. It took him 45 years of hard work to become the richest man in South America. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and leave your comments below. Wishing everyone peace and prosperity.